destroyed everything. All right, guys, we are back in Solo Learn in the last section of the course effect. Let's go ahead and jump right in. These are some powerful things to really make your, um, one of the great things about jQuery are the effects and it can really provide you a lot of value in making your site function looks, you know, great basically is the gist of it. So you have the hide and show element. So sometimes you wanna hide things, meaning they disappear from the page and sometimes you wanna show things. You wanna hide it, when you click it, maybe you wanna click the area again or you click a button to show something, that's an example. You also have toggle. Toggle is, is used to go back and forth between it, right? So you can also, uh, with toggle, you can set a, a time within it so that it slowly, do, it slowly does it over one second, a thousand milliseconds, right? Um, let's go ahead and jump all right in. So it's in milliseconds. The toggle method is in milliseconds. So fade toggle. So jQuery has fade in and fade out. Fade toggle is the same thing where you can go ahead and pass in a thousand seconds like so. So you can slowly fade out. So if we want to fade out over two seconds, this would be 2,000 milliseconds. If we wanted to do it uh, to 0 0.60 opacity, that's how we could do it like so. Oh, does it require a percent sign? Zero point. Excuse me, it requires a zero in front of it. So, so, so testy these things. So 2,000 and then it's 0 0.6. I put 0 0.60. And then slide toggle. So sometimes you can slide things up and down, and then there's slide toggle as well. And it takes in a speed parameter. So let's say we want to slide down the div elements upon clicking the paragraph. So remember, we have the click function. You select the paragraph, and we're saying, look, when you click it, we want to run this function that does some stuff. And we, we want the div, we want div, the div to slide down in three seconds. This is also animate. Animate lets you move things. Now you can do this all in regular CSS and, and HTML5, but um, you know, this the, the the reason jQuery was really invented was to make your life easier. And so you should really take advantage of it. So say we want this div and we want it to on it. We want it when we click it to animate the width to 250. I think the best way to kind of show these sort of really visual things, just go ahead and bring it up. So let's go ahead and check this out. So when we run this, here's our div, and we click it, bam, it goes to 250. It doesn't go back because we don't have a toggle turned on, but the JavaScript here says, look, the animate, set the width to 250, and have it do it over one second. You notice how it didn't jump autom automatically. It's going to leave and jump back. Which of the following can be used with the animate method? Uh... Hmm, I did not see that. I'm padding left. Apparently we can add padding left to it as well. So you can set, So you can do more than just one property, right? You just, it's not with, in the last one we did the width, the height, you just separated it by commas and you pass it in as an object, remember that. You can do plus or equals like this. So if you want to actually subtract from wherever it is, so take the width of the div, subtract, from it or add to it. Now, uh, you also will keep in mind that you may need to use the stop method down the road to uh, stop it from repeating indefinitely, depending on how you set up your program. So in this example, fill in the blanks to animate the opacity and height of a div elements in five sections. So div.animate, and you see it's setting the opacity. We separate it with a comma. It's an object that we're passing in. And then we're setting the height plus or equal to 100 px. We want to do that slowly over five seconds, so we pass in 5,000 milliseconds. So you can see you can do a whole bunch of crazy things. So each one of these will run one after another. So by default, jQuery creates a queue for each animate call so that it runs in order. So creating a drop down menu. Let's go ahead and look at this slide toggle real quick so you can kind of see some of the benefits of maybe working with jQuery. 
So you see right here, we have this nice little drop down. It's not super fancy, but uh, you have some CSS and all that sort of stuff. But the JavaScript, what it's basically doing is slide toggling down every time we click it. Now, it's this is how easy it is with the right amount of CSS to create a drop down, like so. Pretty cool. So that's uh, one great example of how you might use a slide toggle in jQuery. Now, if we want to hide the element, remember we can hide things as well. Over 1.5 seconds, that would be 1,500 milliseconds like so. And then finally, our last little quick quiz. So if we want to hide all the paragraphs, we're going to select the div. So we're saying, look, when you click this div, target the paragraphs, select the paragraphs, and then hide it like so. So this is asking how many seconds will the following animation group run? So we have one second, two second, three seconds. So it's going to be run for five seconds because remember it queues up one by one by one. It's not going to run them all simultaneously. Fill in the blanks to create a valid animation. So we're going to do animate, pass in the, ob remember this object, separate it like so, and then close the object. Separate with commas, I should say. And finally, we have finished our jQuery section. A um, lot of great stuff, a really great introduction to jQuery, a great refresher for me. And one, one uh, thing I hope you really take away from it is that it is a great introductory library to learn. And I really encourage you to get comfortable with it because it's going to be expected for you to, to, to be comfortable with jQuery. You may not use it all the time, but it will be expected. Um, but as always, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Support me at patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. And if you want to uh, join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine, the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com, where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.